Not something I was expecting to see today. Hey guys, welcome to a very windy random vlog. Random Andrew here, down at Port Stanley, checking this amazing boat out. They've given uh, an invite, they're going port to port, along the lakes, giving tours. And I know it's really, really windy, but what can you do? We're right on the lake. We're gonna go aboard, hopefully, and have ourselves a look at this beautiful boat. It's the last of its kind. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Wanna go on? I do, with the rocking motion. You'll make it. Oh, I have a feeling I will. I just, uh, <laughs> never been on a boat like this. So this is, this is first for me. Go ahead, try it out. So, to be honest guys, this is the first time I've ever, ever been on a boat like this. Let's have a look where I'm walking. There's lots of things to trip over. <laughs> Could you imagine being out on the open water in this? And it, oh, what a different sensation. You feel it going up and down. But I suppose once you're on it for a couple minutes, you might not really notice. So, look at this. Could you imagine just seeing nothing but this boat and open water? also immaculately clean. Here, we'll go around this side. Let's see if I can get an image of this without the glare for you guys. That shouldn't be too bad there, right? In case you can't see it, it's the NCSM Oreo. Uh, 1921. Well, this is all in French. Well, let's try some English then. I might do better with that. The history. Launched in Oreo. It launches the Oreo 4 in Nipponsat, Massachusetts. 1921-28 serves as the flagship of the Royal Canadian Yacht Club in Toronto. Well, here. I'll do this and you guys can check it all out because honestly, I gotta be honest guys. This is very, very disorienting. Oh boy. There's, there's the wheel. Take the wheel. Isn't that great? And we'll go back around this side here as not to disturb anybody. This is so cool, guys. Very windy. Very disorienting. This out here would be about the center point, I'm thinking. And this is where you feel the rocking the least. Wow. A little bit more action on this windy day. He's not the only one out here. This crazy guy over here too. And away he goes. Isn't that just insane? Oh 
Maybe he's had enough. And maybe not. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe flying was a bit much for him. But yeah. There he goes. I think he just barely cleared the other guy's lines. That's insane. You guys are nuts. If you're watching this later, you guys are nuts. Know that you guys are nuts. So yeah, before I head out, I thought maybe I should show you guys, because of the wind, look at that sandblasted action going on down the beach. I'm pretty sure that haze is mostly sand, guys. Wow, guys, I'm not even entirely sure what this would be at this moment. Ooh, it's still windy. But I had to stop and get a shot of this. Holy Credit to 1927 Bugatti. Oh, I had the camera strap in the way. Hopefully, I didn't block that whole shot. 1927 Bugatti. Some kind of tag of authenticity there. And yes, that would be your that would be your Ugo horn. Again, not something I expected to see today, folks. This is incredible. We'll get a we'll get another shot from the front momentarily here. Take note of the rack and pinion for the steering coming up right to the front bumper there. That is incredible. <laughs> Definitely not drone weather today. Yet again, another rare find. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire Port Stanley Air Force. Are you kidding me? They got the, the Goose Bombers, and then they got the, um, the Poop Hawks, for a, a politer term, otherwise known as Seagulls, and we still got a whole lot of wind. Well, folks, I'll tell you right now, I had to completely refilm this ending. This is what I'm doing right now. See? Vlog's not quite done yet. Still, it's it's waiting for an ending because the original ending, it was so bad. Well, here, have a quick look. This is still very, very windy. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Very cool walk around. Very cool. Thanks to these fellas right here for... Yeah, it was... It's that's not usable so it gives me a fresh chance to refilm a new ending a better ending that you can actually hear I wanted to mention you notice it's halfway through the summer we still haven't been camping yet Craig has been bugging to get out camping I have to get on fixing my canoe finishing fixing my canoe maybe tomorrow we'll go out back and I'll show you the progress with that I'm not too pleased with what I found but maybe we'll just say heck it and float that boat as she sits. The other thing I wanted to quickly mention real fast, so don't leave just yet. If you're fairly new to the channel, I do have a lot of other videos on my channel other than just around the St. Thomas area stuff. A lot of it is just St. Thomas area stuff. I'm also looking for more things to go and film. So if you know of something you'd like to see on the channel, please always down for suggestions let me know also down for collaborations if you want to come out and help with production of a video help with getting some more locations on the channel anyhow i'm going to cut the video off right here i'm tired i'm going to get this video finished 
so I can get to bed, get my sleep, and go do something really cool or interesting tomorrow. Maybe, hopefully, right? Thinking positive. On that note, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. Subscribe if you're not. Like if you enjoyed today's video. And share, because it really does help grow the channel. It helps get the videos out there. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Think positive. Stay positive. Keep a smile on your face. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night. This vlog is over.